Ayah right, Shalawam. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory be to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukakodash. And I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone <clears throat> that rule well. And blessings to the hopeful elect out there teaching this word in all sincerity and truth, in a, in sin in a sincere hopes. That we may edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days. <clears throat> you know, I'm on my way out of um, out of town. I'm on my way to work this morning, and um, it's pretty early. But I thought, you know, the spirit's on me. I said I'm gonna do this lesson um, because I was sitting there watching yesterday the breaking news of the um, the devastation that took place in the Gaza, one of the hospitals. Um. And um, you know there was there are people out there that are saying that it's Hamas that did it, and there's people that are saying that it's Israel that did it. Um, but they just they did it, but they just don't want to admit that they one of their missiles, you know, uh, I don't know, blew off course or whatever the you know whatever the excuses they want to come with. But ultimately, um, you know, we just know that ultimately we know that the Lord is really ramping things up out here, and that's the main. That's the main message, you know, that we want to come with with a spiritual eye. Um, the scriptures tell us in Amos 3 and 6, um, shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people will not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? So we can't get, you know, caught up in our emotions about what's really going on, you know. Because um, ultimately, you know, the Lord is really shaking things up out here. You know, this is, this is spiritual, all right? And what's going on over there in the Middle East is is nothing but, you know, tensions stirring up between these nations. All right. The apostles have warned us of this. They said, keep your eyes on that that region over there. You know, the, the you know, the fertile crescent, as they call it. Um, are you there worrying about what's going on over there? You need to be thinking about where your mind state is or we need to be thinking about where our mind states are in these last days rather than what's going on. You know, which we know that's according to biblical prophecy. We, we do watch it, but we have to get ourselves prepared and ready for when, you know, because you see them Palestinians, they're getting war waged on them, right? By the Israelis and that, and this and that. That's the strangers devouring our land and our presence, Isaiah 1 and 7. But what about when Esau makes war and declares war on you in these cities? All right, because we know that ultimately. Because I was listening to um, the radio um, I like to listen to LBC sometimes Leading Britain's conversation And they were actually talking about the fact that Is this the wisest move for Israel to be Just dropping bombs on, on, on children and, and so on and so forth, right? Because they're saying that Look, someone's going to be standing there That just lost his brother, his, his daughter, his mom And, and so on and so forth They're going to be You know, they're going to be in Like, you know can I say incensed If you will To take up arms You know And they're going to create More enemies Off the back of doing that But hold on My thing is But Esau wants chaos Alright And you know Scriptures like Revelation 12 and 12 Wherefore rejoice ye heavens And ye that dwell in them Woe to the inhabitants Of the earth and of the sea For the devil Is come down unto you Having great wrath Because he knoweth That he hath but a short time So Esau He's about to declare war on you When you meditate upon Scriptures like 2 Corinthians 2 and 11 Lest Satan should get an advantage of us But we are not ignorant of his devices Alright So we have to know exactly what this devil's got planned Alright Now he actually wants to wage war on you people In these cities He's the real enemy He's the ultimate enemy Okay Now you got this thing with Biden showing up over there um, I think Rishi Shunak the, You know the, the, the Prime Minister of the UK He's supposed to be going over there You know Um and then, you know, America's going over there with firepower, man. All right? Well, I was watching this um, video of this uh, retired army general. I think his name's General Wesley Clark. All right? Excuse me if I got his name wrong, but he appeared on Democracy Now! Now, on Redacted, the, uh, the YouTube channel Redacted, I was watching Natalie and Clayton, or Clayton and Natalie. They were talking about, they put up the clip of this guy, General Wesley. And he was pretty much saying that how... One of his um, generals called him to the side, all right? And I, I think this is when, when he was retired. 
And he actually told him, look, we got a plan to destabilize, you know, over the next coming years. He said, we're gonna go war, go to war with Iraq. And over the next coming years, we got a plan to destabilize, you know, pretty much the, the Middle East, okay? Because they want to take power over there in the Middle East, right? And he said they want to take down seven countries. I believe it was seven countries. And the last country that they actually named was Iran. All right, now we know that the, you know, the tensions that are rising between Iran and America, Iran, Israel, they're at all time high. But guess what? Iran's got an ally known as Russia. Russia, they've got allies like China. They've got the BRICS. All right, so yeah, World War III is, is, is um, you know, is brewing, definitely. But remember, why I say we have to be work like, you have to be wary about when this devil comes for you because ultimately, you know, he's gonna wage war on us first. Because World War III is not gonna pop off until the chip is pushed and made mandatory. So, you know, you be, you be sitting there looking at things that are going on in the Middle East, which is good, it's biblical prophecy, we report that. All right, but then ultimately, the, hey, they're gonna wage war on you first. Or they're gonna wage war on us first. Remember, this, to speak about the hour of temptation, man. All right? Revelation chapter three, verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay? So we're about to enter into the time of the hour of temptation, Arkin. So we have to make sure that we're, you know, we're right. And the scripture says, wisdom and knowledge, Isaiah 33 and 6, yeah? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength and salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. We got a fear. Yahweh Bar Shim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and what you're seeing on the mainstream media news, hey, Esau controls that too, man. Okay, Esau controls that too. All right, he's the master of deception and illusions. We don't ultimately, we don't even know what's really, really going on. We, can, we can't say for certain, all right? But we do know that there's shit shaking up over there in that region. But before World War III takes place, that chip is being pushed. That's how we know that we're closer to the chip now more so than ever, because that chip has to be pushed before World War III. And that's a fact. The apostles have been telling us this, all right? That's why we gotta just keep our eyes, you know, keep our eye on the prize, if you will, man. All right, because the Esau's about to roll out on us like madmen sparing none. And you know, they've got a great excuse to do that now with the level of hate that they're generating off what's happening over there on that Gaza Strip. Because you got uproars of the people right now. People are horrified, mortified by the fact 